Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome to another Ice Academy YouTube video. This time we're going to discuss how to smoke off Dust 2 on A side. Um, there are two most important smokes, I think the most important smokes. Uh, we are going to, I'm going to explain today. Um, and of course those smokes are the cross smoke and um, the optional smoke is uh, sniper smoke right here. Um, that's why I call it sniper smoke. Uh, because a lot, of, uh, a lot of times an, an opera will stand here in this corner um, defending everything that's coming in. Um, so we're going to discuss this smoke right here, how to throw it, and we're going to discuss how to throw the cross smoke. Uh, and of course, another couple of op optional smokes uh, on A side itself, but I think the most important smokes are this one and is this one. So we are going to discuss that right now. All right, let's go to the first smoke. All right, so the first smoke is a very easy smoke. There are a lot of ways to throw it. You can throw it from here. You can throw it from here. But what I think and I still believe the most reliable smoke and the most easier smoke and the most, uh, the smoke you have the most advantage of for, uh, for sorry, English non-native language, um, is this smoke right here. So you're going to throw it. You're going to stand it right here. You see this opening right here, so this gap. You're going to aim in the middle and then a little bit lower because otherwise you will hit this area right here. So this edge right here, a little bit lower. You're going to throw the smoke without a jump, without a crouch or anything. That smoke will bounce off that wall, will land exactly right there. And why I think this is the most reliable smoke is if they decide to give you long control. So for example, an opera will hold here or uh, here or barrels. They will not see you cross. So if you decide to, if you if you and your team want pit control, so you clear angles like this and the smoke is still there, you can easily just uh, take pit control without worrying that a site will see you. Um, so that's why I think that's the most important and the most efficient way to throw that smoke. So we're gonna throw it again, right there. Um, of course, you have to clear your angles. But look, if I jump up, it is at right here nothing will see me and i have full control over pit um and i can slowly walk up clear barrels from here um and even clear box from here so ramp ct ramp from here or uh, a ramp depends on what you call it um and then uh when the smoke uh disappears you can um clear the rest of side um so yeah that's the first smoke it's a very easy smoke it's a very useful smoke if you play against an opper um, and you know he's holding this angle. The only thing you need to worry about is that he can clip up this edge and hold right here. So he has, he has, um, he can see over the smoke. Um, that's the only thing you need to worry about. That's something that I would love to, always love to do when they smoke it off. I will jump up this edge and just go to the edge of the smoke and just pick them up from there. Um, but if you use your flashes right, um, you will blind him. You have to answer your question. You can go in right away so that's the first smoke let's hop into the second one all right so the second smoke is the cross smoke um it's the most important smoke uh to to take over a because if you clear a site <coughs> sorry about that if you clear a site car um and uh just clear a whole a site there's still ct you have to worry about or even b you have to worry about mint you have to wor worry about um so ct is the most of the cross smoke is the most important smoke what I have to say first, so first things first, always leave a gap. If you are not reliable enough um, or trustfully enough with your smoke, always leave, leave a gap on this side of the, uh, of the wall, never on this side of the wall. Why? If you have an opera and you leave a gap on this side of the smoke and he knows your travel time, so for example, you jump up, he can still predict how you jumped and just shoot you down midair or where you're gonna land um and if you're gonna leave a gap on this side of the smoke he had don't he does not have enough time to react to your jump or your cross and if he does he can predict your movement but he will shoot into the wall instead of your face so again always prefer to leave a gap here than here all right so that's first things first all right, how to throw the smoke. It's a very easy one. You go up to the barrel, so you're going to turn around. You see this billboard right here. You're going to place your aim at top of the billboard where it meets the wall. You're going to walk forward, forward, and the moment your crosshair leaves the billboard, you're going to throw the smoke. And as you can see, there's always the, the gap here is always closed. 
here's a tiny gap, but you have a millisecond to to react to it. Um, and of course, it's it's a it's a walking smoke, um, so it's not consistent 100% each time. Um, so, for example, now the, the gap is a little bit smaller, but this side is still closed off, and that's the most important thing um, because you have room to um, to walk over. As you can see, the the time that they see you is very limited. It's very small. Um, you have to think about a, a smoke is not a wall. So if they see you cross over here, they have this area to shoot you down. And now they only have the gap to shoot you down. They they can make a prediction shot and shoot you down. But um, the most important thing is um, the reaction time is not fast enough. 9 out of 10 times not fast enough um, for them to pick you from this angle right here. Alright, so those two smokes are what I think the most important smokes for a site. Um, of course, you have a short smoke, you have a, a side smoke itself, you have Molotovs and, and stuff like that. But I think the most important smokes, I'm not going to go into detail with those things, not yet at least. Um, the most, two, the two most important smokes are the, these two smokes. Um, th those are just the choke points, those are the points that you can get shot from. Um, and you can very, very easily smoke it off this way. Alright guys, that's it for this video. It's a very short video, I think. I have no idea. Uh, I, I shoot this in, in, in several uh, clips. But yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more. Um, if you like the series, please leave a thumbs up. If you don't like the series and you want to see something else, explain the Counter-Strike Global Offensive, leave the thumbs down. But also explain why you left the thumbs down and what you want, what, what you like to see. Um, that's it for this video. I'm MCIs and I will see you guys all in the next video.